Outremont. Honourable member for Outremont. Mr. Speaker, the Liberal bill on pensions will penalize women who take time out of the workforce to raise kids, a protection that has existed since 1977. The Liberal government insists that they are proud of the new Canada Pension Plan. How can you be proud of a plan that penalizes women? Simple question. Was this an oversight in the drafting of this legislation? And if so, when will they fix it? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm glad that our colleague is talking about our collective pride here in the House around improvements to the CPP that will help make people's retirement 300,000 families' retirement income more secure. The majority of those families have women at the head of household. A lot of uh, low-income women will benefit from these improvements to the benefits available. This is very good news, particularly for women. The Honourable Member for Outremont. The Minister has just dodged the question, and he knows it full well. Clearly, they're not that proud. That's why they voted to shut down debate. In 77, the government reformed the Canada Pension Plan so that women would no longer be penalized. The Prime Minister of the time was Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Forty years later, the current Prime Minister refuses to even admit their mistake and is cutting off debate on the bill. Is that what a feminist does? Run roughshod over women's rights? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Once again, I appreciate the opportunity to say a bit more about the importance of the improvements to the Canada Pension Plan for women. Often, unfortunately, retired women are living alone, and we brought the eligibility age for OAS back down to 65, and that will elevate some women or help some women avoid falling into poverty, senior women. The majority of the group population in question is made up of women living alone. Mr. Speaker, it's important what we're doing. The Honourable Member for Outremont. Removes rights from women. How can they be proud of that?